Hey, Grade 7. Welcome to another edition of Mr. D Teaches Math. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to get into a new unit on percent. And so we're going to be able to start calculating percents, um, percents of numbers. We're going to be able to convert from percents to fractions to decimals to fractions to percents to and all three in between. We're going to be able to uh, calculate interest. We're going to be able to calculate how much you should be tipping at restaurants. Uh, we're going to calculate how much um, money you should make on a savings account, those kinds of things. Um, but for today, our first goal is to just be able to recognize um, some percent from some diagrams and to uh, perhaps be able to calculate some percent. Uh, now, I'm sure we've heard this term percent before, um, but just I thought it would be uh, prudent just to give you the actual definition of a percent, which Percent means out of a hundred. Uh, it's actually a Latin term. Um, the Latin is percentum, uh, and it just means per 100. Um, so that's what we need to know. And so what we're going to do is get into the first activity. Now, uh, we're gonna be make, I made this design. Uh, it seems to be showing up fairly well on the screen. Uh, and I'm curious uh, how many uh, squares are red and how many squares are black, maybe a little bit more background. This is a 10 by 10 grid, quite simply, which means I've given you 100 squares, um, showing you 100 squares. Uh, and so I'm curious how many of them are red, how many are black, and then how many are white. So that's going to require a bit of counting, maybe some recognizing patterns. And uh, so if I want to know how many are red, I see that there's one, two, three, four, five. There's one, and there's four here. And then there are seven here. And there are 10 here, 7 here, 4 here, and 1 here. So 1 and 4 is 5, and 7 is 12, and 22, 29, uh, 33, and 34 squares. Are red. Change the colors. Uh, black. There are 2 here, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here, uh, the eight here. So eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six here, and then three here. So two and five is seven and 8 is 15, and 9 is 24, and 6 is 30, and then there are 33 are black. And then the number that are white, you got 1, 2, 3 here, there'll be 6 here, there'll be 9 here, 8 here, you might be noticing a bit of a pattern, uh, it should be 5 here, and then 2 here. So that's 3 and 6 is 9, and 9 is 18, and 8 is 27, and 5 is 32, and then 2 is 34. So there are 34 that are white. Now, here's the big test because I haven't done this beforehand. 34 plus 33 plus 34 equals 101. So that means that my numbers are off a little bit. So, for red, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Black ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 are white, not 34. There we go. So 34 red, 34 black, 33 white. I can do that in addition just to double check. 34 plus 33 plus 33 is 100. So uh, 34 out of 100 are red. 33 out of 100 are black. And 33 
out of 100 are white. What's the percent? Uh, any number over 100, just 34% are red, 33% are black, 33% are white. So 34%, 33%, 33%, 33%, another way to say it, 33 per 100. Okay, moving on to a couple of examples. Uh, now, this is a different square, but imagine that it takes 100 tiles to cover uh, a kitchen floor, and imagine that the installer uh, works for part of the day uh, and then takes a break. Now, what I have here, I have 100 squares, it's 5 by 20, it's 100. I have, it's a little bit hard to see, um, but I have 45 of them are, are blue. 45 tiles have been installed, so 45 out of the 100 have been installed. Notice, that's 45 per 100, it's 45%. And also notice that I can write it as 0 0.45. Okay, all three forms represent the same thing. So there's a relationship between fraction form, decimal form, and percent form. They all relate, they all uh, represent the same thing. Okay, that's key to remember. Okay, so we have this example here uh, that in a student council election, Julie receives 168 out of 240 votes. We're going to determine the percent of the votes that she receives. Um, I'm going to show you two different ways. This way uh, should look familiar. It's a proportion using fractions. We're used to this from uh, our ratio and rate unit. Um, now, the goal here is to get from 240 to 100. And uh, the scale factor that we're going to use is uh, divide by 2.4. And same thing up here. Okay, we're going to divide both these numbers by 2.4. So 240 divided by 2.4 is 100. And do the same thing. 168 divided by 2.4 is 70. So that means 70 out of 100, that's the percent, 70%. She got 70% of the vote. Or, what it says here, you just divide the numerator by the denominator and multiply by 100. So if it's you want to calculate the percent of 168 out of 240, we can say 168 divided by 240 and then multiply it by 100%. So 168 divided by 240 equals 0 0.7 and then multiply it by 100% which just equals 70%. Okay, so a bit of recognition on diagrams and then recognizing the three forms.